In this Revit Tips and Tricks video, I'm going to show you the use of the Select Elements by Face Tool and when it's appropriate to use it. So for this demonstration, I've got a fairly simple model. If I just switch to the 3D view, you can see there are four walls, a floor, some pair of double doors in the end, and some furniture. So let's go back to a plan view. So let's say, for example, we want to select the floor here. We've got the floor plate in and we want to edit its footprint, for example. So to edit its footprint, we need to select the floor first. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'll go on the perimeter. Now you can see immediately Revit's trying to detect the walls. So no matter how I hover about, it's not picking up the edge of the floor plate. I can use the tab key. But you can see there if I tab, first of all, it picks up the chain of walls. If I tab again, now I've selected the floor. So I can go ahead and edit it. But you can see that that can be quite frustrating or a little bit of a convoluted process um, to be able to select the edge of that floor. Better is to select the floor plate by face. So you can see at the moment it's not detecting anything. It's only detecting when I go on the edge of things. But if we look down at the bottom right of the Revit interface, we've got some little icons at the bottom, and in the middle there, we've got Select Element by Face. So I'm just going to click that and turn it on. You can see currently it's not on. Um, we can tell that by the presence of the little red cross next to the icon. So go and click on it to turn it on. So now we can simply put our cursor anywhere on the face of the floor plate, click to select. So much easier than tapping through to try and get the perimeter of the floor plate. You will want to turn that off when you don't need it for the simple reason, if I deselect the floor, uh, let's say for example we want to select some of this furniture so we would normally just go and put a draw a fence around, a selection fence. If I go ahead to do the selection fence immediately it's trying to get the floor. So I need to turn that select elements by face off. Now I can go back and do my fence and get other objects within my project. I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video. If so, please hit the like button. If you'd like to be notified when new videos are released, please subscribe to this channel. And to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.